Welcome everyone to our Friday contemplative practice. I'm Joanne and I'll be hosting the sessions today. We have in our community a number of gifted teachers and guides who lead us in a variety of contemplative practices every Friday at noon to help us to reflect within, to be nourished in spirit, and to join together in community. Today, Elizabeth River will lead us in a guided meditation titled Return Again and Be Restored. Elizabeth, as most of you know, is an interfaith minister, hospice chaplain, and spiritual director. She has led many workshops and groups over the years, and we are happy to have her with us today to guide our practice. And just a few logistical reminders before we begin. The practice will last about 30 minutes, and then we'll open the room for sharing. And uh, the practice itself is recorded, but the sharing time is not. And you'll be able to unmute during sharing time. Now I'd like to hand it over to Elizabeth. Thanks, Joanne. <clears throat> Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, all of you who are here. Um, I just love being in the midst of this beloved community. Um, it's going to be a guided meditation today. Um, and I'll just say this before we start. You can meditate if you wish after I, the guided part will last maybe 10 minutes. I'll speak slowly with space between, but still. And then there'll be silence after that till about, till we've reached about 25 after or so, just so you know. And um, if you can meditate if you like, or you can write, or you can doodle, whatever, you could draw. This would be a good drawing meditation, too. Okay, before we begin our guided meditation, I want to teach you a chant. And you may already know it, and if you do or don't, please sing along. I'll sing it twice but and sing along with me. Of course, as we have to do on Zoom, you have to keep yourself muted, which is unfortunate for me because I would love singing it with all of you. Oh, well. <clears throat> it's called Return Again. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again, return again. Return again, return to the land of your soul. Do you want to put it up on the screen? Joanne, I, I forgot about that. Did I send it to you? Maybe I didn't send it to you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, we'll do it one more time. Return again. Return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again. Return again, return again. Return to the land of your soul. I invite you to sit quietly with your hands loosely on your lap. Relax your jaw, your face, the muscles around your eyes and ears. Feel any tension draining out of your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Let your belly be soft. Feel everything relax in your hips and buttocks, your thighs and calves, your ankles and your feet, your precious feet. Allow your breath its own rhythm. 
Let your breath carry you. Now I invite you to enter your inner room, a place you have created for yourself that is completely private, yours alone. It may be a spot outside in nature, or it may be an actual room, or even a corner of a room, or a room you remember from your past, or from a story. You are safe, comfortable, inspired when you are in your room. Make yourself at home. Resting easily in your inner room, let, you be, you know, let yourself be aware of your amazing body. All of your cells and systems are in cooperation with one another. Together, in an elegant, interactive community of ingenious parts and functions, everything is working harmoniously. Your blood and bones, your skin and flesh, your organs and vessels, your magnificent brain and hearts and lungs. Every last atom in your brilliant body is steadily, purposefully going about its own business, all making this perfect machine of your body work 24 hours a day. And acknowledge that you, the you of you, have the honor of dwelling in this remarkable body, this miraculous body. You occupy this home, your body, which sustains you, and you are able to show up for your life The you of you who lives in your body is not your body. You are not your body. You are a creature of the spirit receiving your spiritual sustenance from the unseen hand, from your divine source. In your darkest times, you may have experienced a loss of awareness of this sustenance. When that happened, life was painful, perhaps unbearable, fear and worry overwhelming you. You may have felt alone, lost, abandoned. And you have always, eventually, come back into the sunlight of the Spirit. You were restored to your wholeness. <clears throat> This return to your whole self, <clears throat> this renewal is always possible, available. Even when the lovely machine of your body 
no longer seems as perfect as it once was. <clears throat> Who you are, this unique and precious one, steadily moves toward the light, into the place where it is at home in itself. You come into alignment with your divine self, beloved and welcomed. You have shared here in beloved community, your own and others most intimate truths. You have been touched to tears and laughter, delight and shock, hope and compassion. I invite you to allow all that you have experienced and discovered to sink deep into your consciousness. Take in all that uplifts and nourishes you, all that restores you to your own divine self. And let yourself rest in thanksgiving and peace. Come home now to your own self, beloved, precious, and free.
want to invite you to sing, to um, return again with me two times. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul.